Alright, what is going on guys? This is going to be the predictions for the regional championships. Uh, I'm not sure yet if I'm going to do North America and Europe in one video or if I'm going to split it up into two just because I don't know how long I'm going to talk about each bracket in each match. And we're basically going to be going over what I think is going to happen and why. As always, if you guys do enjoy, please hit the subscribe button and let's get right into the video. So, I forget which match happens for... I pretty sure uh upper final upper quarter finals happens first so we'll start here but if it's lower round one then i mean it doesn't matter they're both gonna end up here anyways so let's just start up here sonics versus nrg esports and sonics they started off the season looking amazing and then they did definitely cooled down towards the end of the season it obviously didn't have a great last match they got perfect swept by g2 uh, obviously not what they were looking for, um, and I think that that has to do with, um, it, it, certain things have to fall in line for a team to get perfect swept, and it's that the team that you're playing against has to be on, so G2 had to be really on, like on fire, and then Sonics, they had to be playing bad, right, they, they, they obviously, no one's gonna go into that match and say they played well, uh, they were stuck in their own half, they just not like we're used to them playing, I think, Shock Dapper and Sathu all didn't perform well, it was, I don't want to say it's that it's expected, but I think a lot of people weren't surprised that the Sonics cooled down towards the end of the season and started playing like, I don't want to say a bottom tier team, but like more middle tier team, like we maybe we expected them at the beginning of the season. Well, no one expected them even to be a middle tier team. We all expected them to be number 10th, according to the pros power rankings but um a lot of people were saying that sonics play style counters g2 while g2 counters sonics which is like how does that work well obviously g2's counters sonics but yeah and then nrg on the other hand they uh they look shaky at the beginning of the season but toward they, they definitely were playing well i'd say towards the end it's just uh, okay against cloud nine i don't think they played well but uh they, they definitely had some decent they definitely were looking fine towards the end obviously not like season eight but not like the beginning of season nine either so i think nrg definitely got better at, or fixed their issues a little bit and then sonics i mean kind of fell apart so i can easily see this going 3-1 in favor of nrg because it looks like energy got better sonics cooled down i don't want to say sonics got worse because i still think they have potential to play at the level they've been playing at just it's hard to stay consistent especially when you're a fresh rival series team I think PK, in terms of uh, a rookie team, had the best debut in RLCS in history. One of the. I mean, I've, PK definitely had one of the best in terms of rookie teams. And Sonics almost did too, but yeah, fell short at the end. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to give it 3-1 to one in favor of Sonics. I'm fuck. I'm sorry. Uh, NRG. 3-1 to one in favor of NRG. So Sonics will move down the lower bracket and i'll edit this in a little bit I'll, I'll do some make a little bit of work for myself but uh yeah then uh let's go cloud nine versus ghost gaming man this is tough cloud nine swept ghost but then cloud nine didn't look great at the beginning of the season but ghost also showed signs of looking like the best teams in the world sometimes like ghost is the problem with ghost is that they're inconsistent like that that's their main problem i think that when ghost is on they look better than cloud nine but i think that it's kind of like a crapshoot. Will Ghost Gaming play up to what we're used to them playing? Will Atomic... Because Atomic, let's be honest, Atomic is the carry for Ghost Gaming. He is one of the best players in the world. And I think Illusion is a phenomenal player as well. And not to say Mist isn't. He's just, he's you know, he's 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 a third man. He plays, he does his job. But uh, Atomic and Illusion are supposed to make the plays happen. Especially Atomic. And uh, if Atomic's not on, Ghost Gaming falls apart, really. Truth be told, they need everyone to do something on that team. Cloud9 was able to sweep Ghost Gaming and PK because... And NRG. <laughs> they went on a nine-game win streak because uh, they were just... They were playing. They were playing well. They 3-2 Sun. Yeah, man. They played so well at the end. No, they went on a four-game win streak. I'm sorry. One, two, three, four. So honestly, I'm gonna have to give it to uh, I'm gonna have to give it to Cloud9 because Cloud9 towards the end of the season playing super consistent, just like a great team. The last four weeks, their last five matches. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna give it I'll give it three to two in favor of Cloud9. I expect Ghost Gaming to come out strong, but I mean if if Ghost Gaming is is on form, they beat Cloud9. I I think 100%. But if Cloud9 
are just playing like they norm like they have been towards the end of the season, and Ghost Gaming are showing their inconsistencies. C9 take this, or, or C9 will take this, and then Ghost Gaming will be out. C9 and Sonics will end up playing in the lower quarterfinals. Uh, let's do that first. Let's do C9 and Sonics in the lower quarterfinals, just because we'll get to the big boy matches after that. I, I actually don't know what comes first. Let's just, but this sounds better in my head. Uh, so Sonics versus Cloud9. Now, Cloud9 beat Sonics. But Sonics, like I said, they had um, an amazing start to the season, but then I talked about how they started to cool down. Cloud9 started to heat up. Cloud9 really started to heat up. Well, Cloud9 reverse swept Sonics. And then they 3 0 Ghost, and then they 3 0 PK, which means they're on a nine game win streak coming off of league play. A nine game win streak. Crazy. Cloud9's on fire right now. I have to give it to Cloud9. I mean, at the beginning of the season, we were talking about auto relegation, but I mean, they've proven themselves to be back on form. They really have. So I have to go with them just because they're looking good. And Sonics, they need, they need to show up today if they want to snag a top four spot. I mean, you're just not going to be able to snag a top four spot going up against uh, on form Cloud9 if you're playing like you did against a G2. You got to come out strong, but I'm going to give it, I'm going to give it three to one honestly in favor of cloud nine if because sonics like i said they cooled down uh, i think cloud nine will easily take this if sonics can't figure anything out and then we're gonna go to nrg versus g2 esports now a lot this is gonna be i don't care what happens this in my opinion this is match of the day because a lot of nrg fans a lot of g2 fans i think this will be the match to look at because i forget what it was i think it was at dreamhack it wasn't even the finals for DreamHack. It was the G2 versus NRG game. Whenever the last DreamHack was, when I think G2 beat NRG, that was the that's when the, um, the viewership was highest for uh, for the DreamHack. Just because these two teams, people like to see play each other the most. Also, G2 Cloud9, people love to see them. Anything with G2 in it, honestly. But G2 versus a big name team, that always gets a lot of views, a lot of attention. I can see if this is anything like their uh, DreamHack game that they had, or even the League Play game when um. When was it? G2 vs. NRG, man. That went five games. NRG did run away with the, the final game, but G2 didn't. It's not like they were shut out the final game. They scored two or three goals compared to NRG's five, but towards the end, yeah, NRG ran away with the game five. We, we didn't get the game five overtime we were looking for, but I think this will be a, a game five overtime that we're looking for. I think that NRG knows how to counter G2's play style. G2 plays super fast, one of the fastest teams in the world. But I think NRG knows that if you play fast too, you counter G2. And I think, and I want to say that during the end of the season, they played Ghost, or G2 played Ghost, G2 played NRG, G2 played SSG, and G2 got beat. They got beat in the midfield, they got outpaced by the higher te level teams, but then it wasn't until G2 versus Sonics when G2 really looked like they, they figured it out. They looked like, okay. Sonics is the last high level team we have to beat. We have to not get outpaced in the midfield or if if we know that we can't play our normal game, we got to play a little bit of defense. But honestly, I I don't know what it was. G2 came out swinging. Well, I do know what it was. Sonics didn't play well, but I think that G2's had time to study what they're going to do, and I think that it's going to be a game 5 overtime. But I but I I have to say I do think that um I do think it's a 50-50 when coming down to G2 and RG. I'm going to give it to G2 because obviously, I mean, this game could have went, this last game could have went either way. We, we saw signs of G2 putting the pressure on NRG, NRG unable to get out of their defensive half. But then we saw signs of NRG stopping everything that G2 tried to make. And G2 scored most of their goals off of counterattacks. So um, it really comes down to, it's really going to come down to who's going to, who shines in their play style. I'm just going to give it to G2 because... NRG won the last time. I think it's a coin flip between these two teams right now. They're both looking strong. G2 is second, NRG fourth in North America. So G2 is going to move on to the grand finals. And NRG will be out right here. Yeah, they're going to be out right here. But they're going to take that third to fourth spot in North America. And then let's get... Uh, it's Cloud9 versus... Son yeah, I think I we did Cloud9 versus Sonics already. I said Cloud9 is going to take it. So let's go on to SSG versus Cloud9. Earlier in the season... Where was it? Where was it? There we go. SSG beat Cloud9 3 to 1. And I'll be honest, I think SSG is the second best team in the world right now. I think no matter how well Cloud9 play, SSG takes this just because they have never shown signs of inconsistency. They lost one game and it was close. SSG lost 
I, I guess it wasn't that close. I, I, I thought it was a 3-2, my bad. No, it was a 3-1. So, yeah, they had one... They had one day when they lost, but but I do remember it was not a blowout by any means. SSG played well. Sonics, because remember, at the beginning of the season, Sonics played amazing. Shock defended everything. It was really just the fact that you couldn't get past Shock at all. He was a, he was the, 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 the defensive wall. He was a wall of meat. In, insane. He, he honestly stole that win from Space Station, but... I think Space Station do take this from Cloud9. I'm going to give it 3-2. to two. Cloud9's on form. They'll play better than they did in their first matchup against SSG. But SSG is the best team. So it's going to be an SSG versus G2 matchup. And <laughs> I'm sorry. We, we all know how this went. The last time they played each other in week... At literally last week, G2 looked like the slowest they played all season. Because SSG stopped everything g2 try to do they had G g2's number and i can see it happening again i i don't think that one week is enough time to figure out a counter a complete counter to ssg's play style a workaround i think ssg still will have g2's number if it was at the beginning of the season yeah i'd say who knows maybe they had enough time to to work on what they need to fix against ssg but one week man versus a team that just dominated you this badly. I do think it's possible for G2 to win. Like, G2, don't get me wrong, they have the potential. Especially if JNaps pops off. Well, I had to start stop talking for a second. My, uh, my dogs were just loud outside. They're just barking like crazy. But what was I saying? I think, like I said, if JNaps performs like he did... Hold on, my dogs are still barking. A few moments later... All right, my dogs finally stopped barking. So like I was saying, if JNaps can perform on in at peak performance, because I think that Chicago and Rizzo did a great job of playing consistently over the course of the season, but JNaps is the one who really... JNaps either plays good or he plays really good, right? JNaps has the potential to go above and beyond because, as you saw, I believe him to be the third best player in the world right now, so especially when he, and when he pops off he looks like number one i mean he's just insane so if jnaps is on i think g2 take this but i think jnaps was at his knapsack form probably half the games they played this league play which so it's it might be a, i think it's a 50 50 shot if jnaps um is on he was obviously not on during the ssg game but i'm gonna give it a I'm going to give it a 3-2 in favor of SSG. Because I think that that was really the worst that G2 played all season. Because we watched G2, even their pass game, the, the the quality of their passes, it wasn't even like they were passing really well and then were just being shut down. They were passing, I think, I think they were a little slow, their passes. Like, I was even thinking to myself during those games, man, that's a... I mean, I feel like I, I'm a 16, I'm 1650 rated in uh, 3v3s. I'm a 1650 GC. I feel like I could intercept those passes. Yeah, think again, idiot. You know, you know, I'm, I'm pr probably not because they're they're 2200 MMR players and I'm a 1600 MMR player. But point is, they're 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 slow passes they were doing against SSG. Like it was not hard for SSG to to counter G2. They were passing very slow, extending his third overextending his third man, and then easy counterattack. But I think that that was their worst game. I think G2 won't play that awful against ssg but yeah i'm gonna give it three to two in favor of ssg and ssg will be the number one in north america g2 again number will solidify themselves as number two and then cloud nine will be looking like number four i think i think that this is good the, the regional championships to really see where cloud nine fall now to really see where sonics fall now after a long league play but remember remember we've had two months for all these teams to, to change their play styles to to change how they play i think ghost gaming is the biggest wild card I, I think ghost gaming has the potential really to i mean to make it to the finals honestly yeah even to beat ssg it's just if ghost gaming makes it to the finals they've had they show that they have g2's number but they're such a wild card each game is like a crapshoot like i said will they all be playing well they all need to be playing well that team that roster if they if they do they're definitely looking like a top three team so that's my predictions. I'll put it up right here. Man, I just realized I've been scrolling up and down this whole time. If I'm going to edit in what I think, like, or my predictions, then I'm going to have to, like, move. You know what I mean? I'm going to put an overlay on, but then I'm going to move it. And then, who, who knows? Maybe. 
Crap, I just made a lot of editing work for myself. Ugh. It, it's, it's not hard to edit this, but like, I, I use Vegas 12 because I I have not updated Vegas in the last eight years. Which I probably should. I'm sure that the latest version of Vegas is 10 steps above the, the garbage I'm using. But, yeah, these are my predictions. Alright, yeah, I've been recording for 22 minutes. We're, we're not, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna do EU tomorrow. I'll do EU tomorrow. Because EU also plays on Sunday, so even if I upload this on, like, a Saturday, it's fine. It should be fine. So, yep, that's my predictions. Thank you all for watching. Um, let me know what you guys think, if you guys agree. If you guys, uh, who do you truly think is gonna take it all? Put in the comments, who do you think is gonna be that number one? I just can't go against Space Station, because they played so consistent. However, as a... SSG, you, they can be beat, but a team like G2, Cloud9, one of these teams are going to have to come in, come in with a counter to their play style. They're going to need to, the way they've all been playing this season, you, you can't beat SSG. The only way, the only game that SSG lost was when Sonics made ridiculous unheard of saves, Shock specifically. So you got, th there really is no play style that has countered SSG yet. The only way they've lost is by ridiculous I can't believe it saves that will probably never happen again, right? You, you can't count on a team to make an insane amount of unheard of saves over and over again and, and use that as a strategy. Right? Playing defense is not a good strategy. Someone needs to come up with something to beat SSG, but I mean, that's why SSG is the best because no one can counter their play style. They are the best and I think they're number one. So hit subscribe. We are almost at 600 subs, almost at a thousand, which is awesome. So yeah, let's keep going, baby. Let's keep it going. On that grind all the way up to a million, baby. At this rate, we'll be at a million by... 30, 22. But yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys. Peace.